it's here, it's arrived, there's noise, it's it, months of work, it's finally come on, the big dig is here. Behind the camera, there's currently a lot of machines moving about, uh, we've got two dumpers, one digger, I'm going to start by first clearing out some of the locks area, basically making a pathway to get the machines onto the locks because so much plant life has grown up, it's ridiculous. Then we're going to be clearing out the Bolton Bridge. So there's an awful lot of people here and amazingly enough we're the first group in Manchester for decades to like a restoration group, active restoration group, to have moved to the point of using heavy machinery which is pretty impressive. So things are happening, lots of things. So I'm going to be jotting around site, getting some photos, getting some video because this is going to be something a little bit special. Well, got all the dumpers behind me, the Baltimore Bridge, from Stud, there's a lot of bin fill, which is planned to come out. So what we're going to try and get here is we're going to bring in Digger and dig this out, try and get to towpath level. And whereas it might not happen today because the digger we've got is pretty big, we also want to try see if we can go underneath the Bolton Bridge, but of course, it's been in for so long, we're not sure exactly what it's going to be like under there, if the brickwork's going to be all right, it's a bit of an unknown. Um, but this, there's a lot of work going on, we've got two of these, there's one of these, there's one behind the camera. The digger's currently further down, uh, removing some of the, uh, removing a bit of plant life so that there's an actual path to get in to the site with these dumpers. So we're going to be digging out under here, hopefully at some point digging out underneath the bridge. And we've got a spot down there which we'll be tipping. So this is the first stage of the big dig. And it's, uh, there's going to be a big difference when this work is done. Okay. As you can see behind me, there's an awful lot of plant growth that's popped up in the past few months, mainly because of the summer. And we can't have to get rid of it in order to get the dump trucks through to get access to the lot. So currently what we've got is Paul and the volunteers on the digger and he's currently clearing a path through all of this horrible guff. So hopefully we'll be able to have a good smooth path, a good smooth road to get the dumpers down which will make our lives so much easier. stuff that we did a couple of months back um, and unfortunately not everyone in this world is nice and some bloody urchin has come along and kicked off some of the fencing to try and burn it so we're just going to repair that now so the site is nice and secure. Really obnoxious, you spend all this time doing some hard work this obnoxious kid who thinks he's better than everybody else comes along and ruins it. Right behind me Bridge. So I have to shout, but the wind is really, really picking up. I'm not sure that the mic will be able to pick it up. Now, you may see this bridge is really, really low. It shouldn't be like that. I've actually stood almost about four or five feet of infill to get down to towpath level, and maybe about four or five feet more to get to the actual canal bed because this is a big dam. This area here is going to be one of the first to be dug out once they've finished off the road, kind of. They have to have access to the locks first, but then it's going to be this area. So by the end of today, this site is going to look so dramatically different. It's chucking it down, and the whole site's a bog. Um, but one of the big things about it, we may not be able to dig out the infill underneath the actual bridge itself today, because one of the big things, it's a big unknown with this site, is we don't know the condition of the brickwork, the towpath, or anything under this bridge. It could be in perfect condition, or maybe the dab's got to the brick, because this is a very old bridge. Anyway, anyway, we don't know the condition, it's a very old bridge. The brickwork could be in perfect condition, or the brickwork could be in terrible condition. We just don't know, so we're going to have to take it extremely slow with this side. But this is supposed to be phase one. Once this is done, people will be able to walk up this bridge once roughly 40 or 50 years, the first time. So that should be amazing. Because right now it's a bit of a mess. I think we may have angered some Norse god or something. 
something. But hopefully the weather should clear soon because the entire site's a fog and we really need to get this work done. Because otherwise it'll be very expensive to hire the machines out again. Well, this makes a change from how it was earlier today. The sun's decided to show its face and we've got a lot of done. We have been have shifted about 100 tonnes of earth today and yet it still doesn't look like that much. There is an awful lot to do. Down there we've got well, the actual locks that the uh, road has been prepared so that we can drive the dumpers down there. And of course the main site that we're currently digging at the moment, this one, as you can see, it's, uh, a lot of it's been dug out. Now interestingly enough, we're not sure what we're going to find under here because the copers have been lost for so long. We've got a map and that's it. We've got no photographs of how it was at one point. So it's going to be interesting to see tomorrow we're going to try and aim to actually dig down to towpath level. See if the copers are there, see if the cobbles are there. And Paul, the uh, head of the society, reckons there's actually a milestone marker roughly around the bridge in say it's the one milestone in. So if we can find that, that'll just make everything perfect. So we're pretty much wrapped up for today now. A lot of people are going home and getting everything sorted out now. But it's made a big difference, so tomorrow it's gonna to be even more work to do. Second day, weather is almost all just much better in general. And this is started in earnest. Yes, there was a lot of setup. Today, this is really active. Got the digger currently up there, just moving along. And behind us, And behind us is where we're dumping, right there. So hopefully, by the end of today, we'll have shifted lots of stuff. And up there, I'll film it in a bit, we're trying to dig out to the towpath level to see the copers and the cobbles from us. will be the first time in a few decades. So this is going to be extremely exciting. A lot of interest in the project. So, better get that to work. So where I've stood right now, it used to be about this height of infill, covered in plants. but. Digger's been in, we've dug it all away, so this looks a lot better considering that this all used to be just a big mound of mud and clay and rubble and there. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna dig further back now. <laughs> we're gonna dig further back now. And hopefully get rid of the rest of the hump, try and find the retaining wall and See if we can dig down, find the towpath, find the cobbles, find the copers. We won't be digging out the canal itself because it's technically a dam. But, fingers crossed, should go well and we might be able to see the copers by the end of the day, the day today. But we probably won't get underneath the bridge. So everyone, this is the chairman of the Manchester Bottom and Berry Canal Society, Paul Hindle, and he's going to explain exactly what's going to happen throughout the big dig. Right, well we're here at Knob End for a total of 18 days, working with the Canal and River Trust, and we've got two main objectives, firstly to clear the start of the, the Bolton Arm, and we're already getting on with that on the first weekend, and then we're also going to start digging out the, the locks, the line of the, of the locks, certainly the top three locks so that they become more visible and people can see much more clearly that it is a set of locks and not just some random bits of stone. So there's quite a lot, quite a lot going on. This is stage two of a sort of four or five stage process. 
and, uh, and we, we've got lots of plans. The final stage will be to get some water back underneath the Meccano Bridge that I'm standing on now. Okay. Just behind me now, they're digging down for a few hours and we've uncovered what looks to be an old wall. Uh, that's really, yeah. We're not low enough down for the towpath yet, nor the copers or anything. But we did uncover an old wall. Now what it's for, not really sure. Could be above the old bridge, but it could connect it to a wall over there. But now it's a bit of an unknown. So, we're going to do a bit more digging. Let's have a look. Something very excited happening. Uh, problem, problem is, I was on the phone at the time, a bit unfortunate. We found the actual canal coping stones for the first time exposed to the sun, well, if there's any sun in England, for about, ooh, I don't know, 40, 50, nearly 70 years, I don't know. Uh, let's have a look then. So down here, 
six feet it was measured at from the tail. Have a look. There you go. Man, are you getting with everything? It's off for you. So these are the copers. As you can see, this larger copa means that this is leading in to the bridge. Unfortunately, cobbles seem to be missing, uh, which is a shame. But these does, does mean that these are kept here, and these will continue under the bridge and continue back and link on with the Bolton arm. So these, it's great to see, especially because I was stood right next to it when he first hit these, God, I felt the digger thwack them. Bit a bit scratched, but that'll come off, they'll be fine. So yeah, it's been a really productive day. So we're gonna be back here again next weekend for more work. We'll get to expose a lot more of this. Hopefully, we'll expose some more of the bridge. So that should be brilliant. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you wanna learn more about the canal, as always, check out the website, links in the description. If you wanna get involved, join the Facebook page, links in the description once more. Thank you very much for joining us. And we shall see you next work party.